Hey Dharma Circle, Swati here, the Embodied Dharma Coach. Let's talk about how to fix a broken newsletter list. So maybe you had this experience where you send out amazing content, you're so excited to share your knowledge and wisdom with your audience and your list, and then nothing happens. So you're sharing incredible wisdom and insights but there's no response. You don't get a strong click rate, uh, maybe an open, your open rate is low, and you just don't have the response that you want from your content. So today I'm gonna tell you how to fix that and some steps to take. Um, short answer is sign up for my Six Figure Masterclass series and get my support for helping you improve your content and your open rates, your click rates. Uh, you can comment six figures below and we'll send that to you. Okay, so here are some other things to look for. Uh, because it's depressing when you put your content out there and you're so passionate about what you do and what you offer and there's no one responding, you don't get sales, it's, very depressing. Sometimes it feels like you just want to give up. And what's the point, right? So actually, I started my business over a decade ago, growing my newsletter list, I put out uh, content, um, opt ins, I, I had a strategy for my opt ins, and I was growing my newsletter list, very specifically, through my newsletter list. Uh, through opt-ins, through um, social media, and posting on social media. Um, but this was back in the day when it was a lot easier to get people's attention. Uh, those days are long gone, actually. It's much harder to grow your list these days, especially if you don't know what you're doing. So it's really important that you have clarity and strategy for growing your newsletter list because Otherwise, you're going to be attracting the wrong people, the wrong demographic, people who don't even want what you have to sell. So the other thing is that people, remember, people are just bombarded by information all day, every day. And everyone's tuning out, right? We're just overloaded with uh, information on social media. And we all do it. We all just tune out and say, mm, it's too much, right? So you have to understand that you're working against the overwhelm that's happening in the marketplace, particularly on social media, but even in the inboxes, um, everyone's just bombarded with too much information. It's information saturation. And so we have to have a very clear strategy and structure in order to uh, reach the right people and make sure that we're not attracting the wrong demographic because if you have the wrong people on your list of course you are going to have no sales and you're going to have uh, problems uh, getting people's attention so this is a really good reminder why you need a clear niche you it's a really important reminder you must have a clear niche and be super specific and clear in what you are selling, what are you offering, what is your solution. You need to speak directly to the person that you're trying to reach. Clear solutions, overcoming very clear obstacles with very clear solutions. And remember, you're speaking to that one person that you really want to reach. You really want to work with this person. You know their problems inside and out, and you know you have their solution. Generic will not get you sales. Generic will not get people's attention. And this is actually a problem I see all the time with small businesses. It's so broad. The content that they're sharing is so broad it speaks to no one. And most people think that that's good, right? You're gonna reach more people that way. But in fact, we don't know what you're selling. We don't know what solution you offer. 
I don't know how you can help me. And so I'm just going to tune you out. Here's how to tell if your newsletter is in fact broken. Your list is not growing consistently. Your open rate is low. Your click rate is low. You're not making sales through your newsletter. People are not buying from your newsletter and they're not even booking into your calendar. Uh, nobody books into your calendar from your newsletter. So that's really important to understand. If you're having any of these issues, you've got a broken newsletter list, okay? So the truth is that you really do need a high performing newsletter in order to have a successful business. Um, after you know over a decade of sharing my knowledge and wisdom, my newsletter is still that one thing that's functioning in the background and it's keeping my business growing and moving no matter what happens with social media. Yesterday, Meta crashed. Instagram was down. Um, Facebook was completely down. No one could get into their accounts. I thought I'd gotten hacked again. Most people thought they got hacked. Meta was down. Everything came to a screeching halt on social media. This is your wake up call. It's really important that you don't put all your eggs in one basket and think that social media is the way to grow your business and that social media is what you need to be doing in order to get results. It's but one part of your marketing strategy and your audience growing strategy. But if social media collapses tomorrow, uh, you don't have a business if you are only relying on social media to grow your business and increase your sales. It's the sad truth. And the other thing about social media that you have to understand is that Facebook owns all of your content. Instagram owns all of your content. TikTok owns your content. YouTube owns your content. Your newsletter list is literally the only thing you own. The emails that you have gathered and that are on your newsletter list, those you own. That's your gold mine. It's not how many followers you have on Instagram. It's not how many people are in your Facebook group. Your Facebook group could uh, get hacked tomorrow and uh, this is the sad truth. Um, it's but one way you're growing your business and growing your newsletter list. So first of all, we need to think in terms of diversification. And secondly, we need to be honest with ourselves that social media is not your only strategy for growing your business. And if you really wanna secure your business and make sure that you have a way to reach your people, even if something happens to social media, that is gonna be your newsletter list. It's always amazing to me when I hear that a business does not have a functioning newsletter list and you're not sending out content consistently and you're not using your newsletter as a strategy for success. Big problem if you want to grow a, a very gentle, smooth, successful, six-figure Dharmic business uh, working only around 20 hours a week, you're going to need a newsletter strategy in place. So if your newsletter is underperforming or not performing at all, you have one or more of these issues. So pay attention. Which one is it? Or is it all of them? Your audience size is not big enough. Hey, don't get stuck here though. Too many of you think that it's your audience size that's the problem, and I got news for you. It ain't your audience size. It's your content. It's your CTA. It's the fact that nobody knows what you're trying to sell and what your solution is. So there's a lot of factors at play. Don't just blame it on your audience size, although this can be a factor, okay? Your content doesn't compel a buyer or inspire a buyer to take action. Um, that's what your content needs to do and that's what your newsletter should be doing. Your content doesn't help people identify their problems. What are their problems? What is the problem that you help people solve? It's not clear what your solution is. This is a big one. 
Again, generalization and generic content will not get you sales. Be specific. And this is also a problem if your offering is too broad. We don't know what you're selling and I don't know that you can help me and I'm not going to invest in something that doesn't have a clear outcome or solution. You don't have a clear call to action. Uh, again, you got to have a clear next step for people to take. Your offer is not good. No one wants it. This is a sad truth, and we talked about this uh, recently in uh, one of my last classes, how to fix an offer that doesn't sell. Well, you gotta have some very clear strategies in place, and it's about refinement and improving your offer. Ultimately, what we're doing here is we're moving people through your process and into one of your courses or your offerings. So if your offer's not good and no one wants it, you're not gonna be able to sell it. Um, again, there's not enough trust established, then that can also be a reason why your newsletter is not performing or it's not performing very well. So your content needs to nurture a relationship with your audience. It needs to help your audience identify what makes you so special? What makes you so unique? Why is your wisdom something they can't find anywhere else? That's your job in your content and your content needs to be able to deliver your special sauce. What makes you so special? Your content needs to help someone see their problems clearly and help them understand that you have their exact solution. Without a clear call to action, no one will know how to take the next step. Most people are not using clear enough calls to action. What is the next step you want someone to take? I, I gotta remind you that improving your content is the one thing your business will need for the long haul. As long as you want to be in business, you will need really impeccable, clear, precise content. You should always be working on improving your content as a writer, as an entrepreneur, as someone who wants to help people, and someone who wants to become more prosperous. Your content is that one thing that you should continue to master. And we can always do better with our content. There's never gonna be a point in your business where you can just forget content or you can use bad content. So just know that your content is the lifeblood of your business. Good content gets you sales. Bad content keeps your business struggling and it will not help your growth, your newsletter list and your sales. And a lot of you even doubt your gifts and wisdom and think that it's you and it's really just a content problem. It's not that your gifts and wisdom are not valuable. It's not that you don't have something amazing to sell or to share. And it's not that your gifts and wisdom won't help anyone. It's just simply really bad content. And um, that's the honest truth. So if you wanna improve your content, Sign up for my six figure masterclass series. This is a free three part masterclass that I created for you so that you'll have the nuts and bolts of scaling a six figure gentle business, making more money, doing what you love, sharing your gifts and wisdom, but working around 20 hours a week. These are the same systems and structures I used to create a $90,000 launch this past year. I wanna share it with you. You need these steps in place if you want an easy, gentle, six-figure business that scales. So comment six figures below and we will send you the link to that free masterclass series. All right, here's what I wanna leave you with. If you wanna start improving your content today, make a list of the 10 things that you help someone with. What are those 10 things that you give results with? 
How can you help me? How do you help people? What are those 10 things? Then go out and write your content, your how to fix this or your solution for this problem and make a list and refine this. Improve your content and make sure you're helping people understand what's their problem and the solution that you provide. And keep improving your content. If you want my steps and my resources for refining your offering, improving your content, creating a successful launch, and a bonus that I throw in, how to hack the algorithm so that you can improve your sales, comment six figures below. We'll send you my free masterclass series and you'll get all the steps. All right, everyone, have fun writing your content. I'll tell you, I actually love writing my content. Uh, I've been doing it for well over a decade. There's a part of me that just wants to keep improving and getting better and better and watch those click rates improve. And I hope you have that desire as well because that's what it's gonna take to really improve your newsletter, your response rate, and uh, really make those sales. So enjoy writing your content and comment six figures below for my resources and tools, and I'll see you soon.